friends. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Marketing Matters. This is Landmark Titles weekly webinar we do every Wednesday at 10 a.m. We give you little marketing tips of the trade. There's always so many things that we can be doing to market our real estate business. And sometimes it just gets overwhelming. So the idea behind Marketing Matters is to bring you information about different marketing techniques and tactics and to help you kind of wade through all the different techniques for you to decide what implements you or what techniques you'd like to implement into your business. And then Landmark Title and our business development managers, we're here to help you with these. The business development managers that we have at Landmark Title, they are the experts in marketing. I mean, this is what they do. This is what they're paid to do, to help you look good. So we love touching on some of the different things that we can help you with and help you to implement into your business. Today, I am joined with, oh, Sarah Touchstone from Landmark Title. Yes, I am presenting today. And I am presenting on a topic that I love. I love, I love, I love. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't call myself an expert in it. It's just a passion of mine. So I'm becoming an expert in this field because I enjoy doing it. It's a technique that I implement in my own business. And I've helped a lot of other um, business development managers here at Landmark as well as agents across the Valley implement this technique into their own business. And I'm telling you, we are seeing the results from it. And it's a little bit overwhelming at first. It's a little bit scary at first, but I'm telling you, this is going to be the way of the future. So what is this that we are talking about today? Video marketing. All right, anybody that knows me knows that I love videos. I mean, this is what we're doing right now. I'm making a video for y'all. And it is a great, great way to connect with other people, especially right now in COVID times, because we don't see each other as much. We're, you know, we're living vicariously through Facebook a lot of times. So video is a great way to bring yourself out and show people what you're doing, what your business is about, and allow people to get to know you during these times. So let's touch on a few ideas today. The first one I want to touch on is why is video marketing beneficial to your business? So you hear it all the time. You know, you know, you know, you hear it, you know. Video, you got to be video marketing. You got to be video marketing. But why? What's the benefit, really? So let's talk about some of the stats on video marketing. 83% of video marketers say video helps them with lead generation. And we know in real estate, it really is about generating those leads. That's what's going to feed your family is new leads coming in. 87% of video marketers say video has increased traffic to their website. So there's a lot of different ways that you can take video content and spread it out and drive traffic to different areas that you're marketing, such as your website. 80% of video marketers say video has directly and helped increase their sales. That's what we're in, folks. We're in sales. So with 80% increasing their sales, these are big numbers that I'm throwing up for y'all this morning. And then 95% of video marketers plan to increase or maintain their video spending in 2021. So people that are already doing video, not only do they intend to continue doing video, but they're gonna increase what they're doing with video. So this is these are pretty powerful numbers. This is. These are the stats that tell me video marketing works. So let's go over just some of the easy equipment that you can use for video making. So the greatest thing in the world is that everybody has one of these in their pockets now. 
this is your camera, this is your cell phone, this does video, this sends video. This is your avenue to a whole world of marketing. And guess what? You keep it right in your pocket. So first and foremost, you've got, you've got the equipment, right? We've all got it. But there's a few other little things that you can get that will help you to take your production value up. One that I really like, and I keep one in my purse, is a tripod. Um, and it's a tripod selfie stick. So if I'm, you know, if I don't want to hold my camera and I'm, you know, nervous about making a video or something, I can throw it on my tripod, hit the button. A lot of these tripods actually even have um, little clickers that are attached that you can Bluetooth up with your phone. So it just gives a nice clean beginning and end to your presentation. Um, I also like the selfie stick tripod function. So, you know, that's a great option as well. You can buy that on Amazon for, you know, less than $20. Um, another great little feature is a ring light for your phone. So I've gotten into, the, I have one of these, but I've gotten into the habit of taking a lot of videos outside. But if you're taking videos inside or, you know, doing interviews with people and you want to just add a little bit more light to it, a ring light is great. Once again, on Amazon for less than $20. Now, one of my favorite features is a mic. So if you're outside and there's, there's background noise, there's dogs barking, there's people walking by, there's people talking, having a little lavalier mic like I've got here can really enhance the audio quality of your videos. You want people to hear you clearly. So that mic is a great, great little tool to just kind of up the production value once again of your videos. And once again, you can get that on Amazon for under $20. And then the last piece of equipment that I've got up here that I want to touch on is a gimbal. So a lot of, I've, I've, I've been practicing a lot with video, so I hold it pretty steady most of the time. But what the gimbal does is it steadies your camera. So you can be like walking around, you can be, you know, nervous and shaking, but that gimbal is going to go ahead and balance the equilibrium of your camera so that you've got this nice steady picture. Now the gimbals, those on average cost a little bit more like $100, but it's if you're going to be making videos and you really want to have that high production quality, it's worth the investment. Okay, so this is the easy stuff. I want to touch on the upgraded equipment because I know several of you on here have been making videos. And you're like, you know, Sarah, yeah, the videos on my cell phone, they're great, you know, they're a good start, but, you know, I'd like something a little bit more high quality. So I'm going to touch on a few of the things that you can purchase. Now, these are going to be a little bit more, you know, investment, but if you're doing video marketing, they're not bad investments. I know I have um, majority of this equipment as well because I do a lot of video marketing for Landmark Title and with our agents. So even if you don't want to rush out today and go buy this, if you want to schedule a time to meet with one of your business development managers, and I'm happy to come out and meet with you all as well, and we can knock out you know four, five, six videos for you. We can help you brainstorm on video ideas and I'll bring my professional equipment. So this isn't like, let's just dive right into this. But there are a couple of things that just really enhance your video making quality. One is a great camera. Now I've got the Canon featured here. Um, this is, this is I actually use um, a Luminex camera, which is a step up from a Canon, but you can get a good Canon for about $500. And, and that's really is going to enhance the quality of your videos. Um, and then the next thing I have is a boom mic. Um, I like the Rode brand. They're perfect. Once again, cancels out noise. It's kind of like the lavalier mic, but picks up um, if you're doing like interviews together or, you know, you're filming. Um, I went and, and did a, a film out near the Superstition Mountains with an agent for one of her nonprofits. And we used the boom mic because it picked up her audio well. And then, of course, lights. When you get to the high production, once again, like I said, I do a lot of videos outdoors, so we don't necessarily need, because we live in Arizona, right? It's so, it's so nice that we can just go outside most of the times of the year 
and just, you know, we've got sun and we've got great weather. But if you're doing indoor videos and you want to up the production value of these videos, I do recommend getting some of um, some lighting. So some of these lighting, they run about maybe a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars. So this is, I mean, this professional setup you can get for under a thousand dollars. So if that's where your video making is going, it's not a bad investment. <clears throat> now let's talk a little bit about the content of the videos. So I've talked in other webinars about where to put them, what types of videos, but the, the question that we always get, and this is one of the things that when I go out and I help agents with video making, we sit down and we work on content because it's a lot of times it's about the length. It's about adding the value. How are you going to get people to watch your videos? So there's a couple of different categories that I've put videos in based on length. So the first one, and this is probably the one that I do the most because I'm teaching a lot of classes. Well, I say the most. There's two that I probably do the most because I teach a lot of classes. <laughs> so the first one, and I do this, this one all the time because I'm promoting classes, is your one minute promos and teasers. So this is going to be, you know, um, it's good for your, your Instagram stories. So Instagram and Facebook stories need to be under a minute. If it's over a minute, they're going to get chopped down. But people are watching those, so they want the quick information. Um, these one-minute promos and teasers are great to send out in email or in text. It's a great way to drive traffic to something else. So, for example, when I'm doing uh, video promos, a lot of times I'm wanting to drive you all to the classes. I want you to get the information about what the class is about, when is the class, where is the class, what time is the class, and how you can register. And I can get all of that information to you in about one minute. So these are great for social media. We all know that people's attention spans are not that long a lot of times with social media. So you want to keep it short. You want to keep it brief. You want to hit it hard. And then you want them to want to go somewhere else, to follow something else. So that's what these one minute ones are really great for. I give you. Hi, everyone. Sarah touched on with landmark title. The best part of my job, and in fact, my life, is that I get to go out every day and motivate, inspire, teach, train, and just get together with an amazing group of people every single day, whether it's through Zoom or our session, whatever it is, it's great to have this. So can't hear it too well, but hopefully you guys get the gist. It's a promo. All right. Second video. I call these three to five minute interactive videos. So these are good for interviews. So interviewing with your industry partners, interviewing with people in the community, a quick how to, uh, things like facts versus myths, um, different things that you can do during the different seasons, like home improvement type things. Uh, these are great for social media, Instagram, Facebook, just quick little tidbits. People will watch about a three to five minute video. So once again, great for social media. This one was a video walkthrough that I did. I'm not gonna spend much time on it. So, 
things like a quick little promo for your open house, a little tidbit that actually went into COVID standards for doing an open house. So once again, creating that value for your clients. Now, the, the third video that I want to touch on is a eight to 15 minute, I call it a long form video. These are more of your longer how to's, home tours, um, virtual open houses, uh, a longer interview, something with where you're going back and forth with maybe a couple of people, um, reviews. So if you wanna go review a restaurant or something like that in your neighborhood and your community, um, and then Facebook Lives. Facebook Lives are amazing. It's a little scary to think about doing Facebook Lives right off the bat because it's live. You may not have a chance to practice. Everything's gotta be off the cuff. A lot of people are not comfortable making videos just off of, on the fly, off the top of their head. Um, I do have a technique that if you are interested in doing Facebook Lives, but you wanna practice and see how these look before you start doing them for everybody in your sphere, is to create a closed Facebook group and then just invite you know one or two people. You can invite your business development managers into it and tell them, hey, I, I wanna do a Facebook Live. Will you watch me do the Facebook Live? Will you give me feedback? And just kind of get comfortable with that you can do that in the closed Facebook group and it's not going to go out to your Facebook feed. So that's a great way to get in there and just start practicing videos in a nice controlled environment. Um, I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of virtual open houses. So this is a great, Facebook Live is a great format for that. You can also just record the video and then post it later onto Facebook. The, the virtual open houses, honestly, they're great because you do, you know, we're not getting, um, with COVID times, it's, it's kind of nice not to have to take everybody through the house a lot of times. Sometimes it's nice just to go preview a house for your, your sell or your buyers before you go in. It's also just, honestly, it's a great way just to create content for yourself. I've known a lot of agents, it's not even their listing or it's not even for a buyer. They're literally just finding these um, homes and they're going in and they're doing the walkthrough tours. I always recommend letting the sellers know that this is what you're doing because it is creating content. It is creating um, a database of that. So don't just say, hey, I'm gonna go see this home and then create a video. Let the sellers know, I've not had any agents that have had any issues when they let the sellers know that this is what they're doing because it's exposure. But just, you know, on based on ethics, just, you know, let them know that this is what you're doing. So those are my little tidbits and advice for that. And well, as you see, this is a Facebook Live and it, it's not the best quality and that's okay. It's still content, it's still getting out there. And then last but certainly not least, this is probably the other video I do the most of. This is your 20 to 60 minute informational videos. So this is good for podcasts, classes, webinars, YouTubes, and live streaming. Um, YouTube and classes, this is something we do a lot of here at Landmark Title. Oh, look at, it's Marketing Matters. So those are the things, the different types of video that I do recommend. Now let's say we're starting our videos. What, what can we do so that we are not overwhelmed with the idea? So now, okay, now we know the types of videos that, that we wanna create. Whether you wanna do the promo videos, whether you wanna do a how-to video, whether you wanna do an interview video. All right, we've got the framework. We know what our goals are. We know what we wanna create, but now, okay, we gotta get started, right? So let's go over a few little icebreakers that are gonna help you to get over that hump of actually doing the video. So some of the icebreakers that I have for you today is pick a topic that you know a lot about. So say you live in Australia Mountain Ranch and you know everything about that community. Pick that community to do a video on. You're the expert in that area. That's what you wanna come across as 
always in real estate, but as you're making these videos, pick things that you know a lot about because you want to be confident in what you're talking about. And the more you know about a topic, the more that confidence is gonna come across really well on video. Do it with a friend. Pick your business development manager, pick your partner, you, you know, pick um, even a family member or something like that, or, or just you know, one of your friends and say, hey, I wanna go out and make a video. And whether they're the people holding the camera, they don't necessarily have to be on video with you. They can literally just be there. I'm telling you, when we get together, and we do videos at Landmark Title, and we're doing them together, we're having a good time. And it just makes it so much more comfortable when you can talk about an idea, what are we gonna do? How does this look? What do you think about this wording? And we're just bouncing ideas and brainstorming, even out in the field as we're doing video. It makes it so much more fun and casual, and that's gonna come across really well on video. The thing I love is, you know, be goofy. It's, it's, this is who you are. Real estate, we're such a fun industry. We're really a great collective group of just super interesting people. So be yourself on camera. There's a reason that your clients want to work with you. And, you know, we always hope that the reason that they want to work with us is because we're uber professional and they know that we're going to get the job done and everything's going to be just straightforward and easy. But a lot of times people are picking you to work with based on your personality because they click with you. So let your personality come through. You don't have to just be rigid and be like, hello, I'm Sarah Touchdown. I want to be your real estate agent today. Be fun, be yourself, and then record where you're comfortable. So if you're comfortable at home and you want to just try out a couple of videos, start out there. Or if you're comfortable at a park, you know, some not everybody's comfortable shooting video out in public right at the beginning either. So if that's not something you're comfortable with, don't do it. Do it in a nice closed environment, somewhere where you don't feel like everybody's gonna hear you or wonder what is that lady doing with that camera over there? So that's one of the best things to do is just start out where you're comfortable and then practice, 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 practice. There's three different types of people who make videos. One is people who love scripts. So if you're a script person, write it all out, practice it. And then there's people that just love doing videos on the fly. I'm sure y'all can't guess that that's my style, right? Um, so if that's, if that's your style, maybe even do a trial run a couple of times through just to make sure that you've got everything in your mind going. Uh, and then there's a hybrid type. So these are people who like to make like bullet points, but then can fill in everything else. So figure out what you're most comfortable with, but practice it a couple of times before you go on video. And this is the big one, guys. Don't let fear of being on camera stop you. Everybody hates the way they look on camera. It's natural. But guess what? Those of us watching love the way you look. We do. We love seeing you. We love connecting with you. We know what you look like. You don't look any different on camera than when we see you in person. So don't let the fears that you have about creating video marketing stop you from actually doing it. You know, okay, I don't like the way I sound. I don't like the way I look. The camera adds 10 pounds. None of that. None of that is something that should stop you from doing it. And then last but certainly not least, hit the record button. If you've got the ideas and you've practiced and you're ready to do it, just do it. Just like Nike says, just do it. And then make sure you're putting it out there. There's so many times that I've done video with people and they are, they're happy. They enjoy doing it. They get the video content back and then they sit on it. Don't be those people. Make a commitment to yourself in 2021 
that you are going to implement video marketing into your business because guys, it's working. It's a great tool. It's a great technique. It's something that you can do literally for free because you've got the equipment already there with you. Yes, Beth is inspired. <laughs> Beth and I love doing videos together. Um, and she's great on video. Let me tell you, she's, she's one of those that doesn't think that she's great, but I love watching her videos. And quite frankly, I love watching all of your videos and your clients will love watching your videos. So that's about it for this presentation today. I want to touch on a few different video editing softwares. So if you've already started creating the raw content or you're one of those people that's like, you know, Sarah, a raw video is great, but something with my logo, something with an intro, with an outro, that really is just going to fit into my business plan and the way I present myself a little bit better than just saying, hey, I'm Sarah. Why don't you buy and sell a house with me? If that's something you want, I recommend some different, I've got them up here, some different um, video editing softwares. And Landmark Title is going to be rolling out a video editing series. So yes, this is something that we are going to be doing to help all of our agents go to that next level. Because there are different companies out there and we partner with an amazing one, um, Exposed Media does some of our, if you've seen some of our business development managers videos and you notice there's subtitles, there's an intro, there's an outro, it looks great. That's because we partner with a company that does it. And if you would like someone else to do it for you, I highly recommend Exposed Media because they are great at it. But if you're just like, I just, I, like I said, I just want to drop my logo in. I just want to drop my name in. I just want something simple. We're going to offer classes on how to do those. So my goal is to get you to be able to just edit up a video 15 minutes because time is money in this industry. You guys wear a lot of hats. So we're actually going to be utilizing Filmora software, which is a free software. There's different kinds of upgrade packages uh, that you can get as well. But this is what's really going to help you to just do a little bit more video editing. Because like I said, video, this is, this is the way we're going. And if you're making these videos, why not brand them, right? So that's going to be upcoming here in the next month or so. We're going to be having different levels and whatnot. So if you're interested in joining our video editing classes, reach out to your business development manager and let them know. So that's going to be exciting. If anybody has any questions, please throw them up in the chat window. I'm going to go through some of the other classes that we have coming up because it's a busy, busy month. So this is actually starting right now. So if you have any appraiser questions, um, Mary and Elisa are on an appraisal call right now with Valerie Brown. I've actually done several of these with Valerie. These are, these are very informal. I like how it says afternoon chat when it's at 10, 1030 in the morning, which for us in the real estate industry, who knows if it's morning or night sometimes or afternoon, whatever. Um, so if you do have any appraisal questions, because appraisals are wild right now. I mean, I, one of my agents had an appraisal come in 47,000 um, under what their contract said. So if you have any questions, it's, it's a very loose format. So you can pop over there onto that Zoom link and ask Valerie anything that you have. So it's going on right now, basically. And then we've got another Landmark Title CE class coming up next Thursday at 10 a.m. This one's going to be three hours on disclosure. It's only $10 to attend. And Landmark Title is going to be rolling out CE classes every month for you as well. So it's always a great idea. You don't ever want to be that agent that gets the call from ADRE and says, hey, um, so you don't have your CE credits in. You haven't renewed your license because it's going to cost you more money. So just stay ahead of the game. 
And then on, this is on actually on Thursday, um, February 18th, the same day as the CE class in the afternoon, a class on HomeBot. Patty and Michael are bringing that one to you. So if you're interested in learning more about HomeBot or you know about HomeBot and you'd like to implement it in your business, I highly recommend going to this class and, and just figuring out you know, how this can help make your business more efficient because that's really what we, what we want to do in this industry, right? We don't want to be running all over the place. We want systems and that's what HomeBot helps with. And then several of our um, business development managers at Landmark Title are Buffini Master Certified. I'm not sure if that's exactly their title, but it sounds good, right, Beth? So Mary is actually doing a Pathway to Mastery advanced course. I believe she said this is starting at the end of the month. And um, Mary is our Central Phoenix Biltmore rep. So if you're in that area or you already work with Mary, um, for those of you out in the East Valley or out in the West Valley, we also, Beth is out there in the East Valley and she is a Buffini master as well. So if you want to get in um, with her on any of these things, reach out to her. West Valley Patty Carabio is also um, a Buffini master. And I think she mentioned to me that she would be doing something very soon out there. So no matter where you are in the Valley, our reps are there to help you with that. And Buffini is amazing. And then guess what guys, we're already starting to talk about March. So March 4th, this is the first Thursday of every month. We do our Market Insights class with Scott Kibbers, who is the vice chair of Armless. And these get crazier every month. So even if you've attended one in the past, these stats, they change. And you want to be on top of what's going on in the market. Not just sit, telling your clients, yeah, there's nothing out there. Yeah, it's crazy, I know really get into one of these classes and understand why the market is the way it is, what the projections are. This is the thing we get questions about all the time. Where do you see the market going? Well, if you hop on Market Insights, Scott's going to tell you where he sees the market going. So you want to get in on that March 4th at 930. If you're not already registered for it, reach out to us and we'll get you registered. And then Patty and Michael have their HUD class coming up, their March HUD class, coming up on March 9th at 2 p.m. They do this every month. So if HUD is something that you do, please attend these classes. Things change all the time, every month with HUD. That's why they offer these classes every month. So if it's something that you are that you're that you do in your business or you're interested in doing in your business, hop on one of these. That's March 9th. All right, guys. That wraps it up for us today with Marketing Matters. Thank you so much to our business development management team. You guys, you are the ones who make it all happen. If you want to get together with any of them for video marketing, they all do it. They're all in front of the camera. They're all, I'm gonna call them the experts because they've now been doing this for a while. So even if you just wanna sit down and brainstorm with them, it's something that they all implement in their business and they would be happy to help. If you would like me to join y'all and actually film you with my camera, just let us know. This is a service that's available for free for you at Landmark Title. So thank you to Beth, Becky, Melinda, Mary, Jason, Zach, Patty, and Michael. You guys are the ones who make it happen for your agents. And as always, thank you to Landmark Title for bringing great content like this every week on a consistent basis to our agents. We are throughout the Valley, wherever you are, wherever your clients are, wherever you're doing a deal, we have an office to serve you and your clients. So please, next time you're writing out your contract, I know, I know things are, are a little dicey right now and you just gotta get those deals in, you gotta get those deals done. But please think of us on your next contract. We'd love to serve you. We're, we're here. We're here for all of your needs, not just your marketing, but title and escrow as well. So that's it for us today. 
I hope you guys have an amazing Wednesday and um, we'll see you next week.